From the time I became an astronomer, I dreamed of winning the Nobel Prize. Yet now, 25 years after becoming a professional astronomer, and even after nominating the winners, I've come to see how humanity's superlative award actually impedes scientific progress. 300 years before the first Nobel Prize, Galileo opened a new window on the cosmos when he first turned a small telescope to the sky. Galileo's observations shook up the world, overthrowing the paradigm that the Earth was the center of the universe. But even Galileo had his own share of astronomical blunders. He mistook the dust clouds he saw in the beautiful Pleiades for the combined glow of innumerable other stars. Galileo's telescope saw visible light, but to see the Big Bang requires a different method. The oldest light we can study is called the cosmic microwave background, the leftover heat from when the universe was a mere 380,000 years old. Embedded within this cosmic glow may lie the imprint of something much older, primordial waves of gravity from inflation, which occurred just a split second after the Big Bang. In 2005, my colleagues and I set out to detect these disturbances. We did so from the coldest, darkest place on Earth, the South Pole, using the BICEP2 telescope. In 2014, the BICEP2 team shocked the world, claiming that we'd witnessed the spark that ignited the Big Bang. The world erupted in applause and whispers of Nobel Prizes as well. But there are other imposter signals that can mimic the signals from inflation. These come from dust clouds from our own Milky Way galaxy. Soon after our announcement, rumors began to spread that BICEP had been mistaken. Had we seen the birth of the universe? Or had we, like Galileo before, been fooled? What role does the Nobel Prize play in the motivation of scientists today? How does the Nobel Prize fail to live up to Alfred's lofty visions? And how can it be reformed? Losing the Nobel Prize explores the complex conflict between passion and greed, collaboration and competition, in the pursuit of humanity's highest honor.